was shining a few minutes ago. I don't think the rain's gonna stop. It's Ohio, okay? So this is just your basic like roof rack, right? For the top of a truck. And I got three different solar panels. So I've got 300 watts going here. And I decided to mount them a little bit higher. All kinds of things. There's a um, two burner stove down here. I haven't needed more than 300 watts yet. So let me show you the rest. The sound was really bad in that video yesterday. So I decided to do a little reshoot. I'm a YouTuber, as you can see, I make videos. I need power all the time. So I've been traveling for about six months now in my Bronco around the United States of America. And when I first was building this out over last summer, I was waiting to set up my power supply because I didn't really know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and try my hardest to um, mount the batteries underneath the Bronco. I was gonna need like four, I think it was four to eight, depending on how much power you want, deep cycle batteries, which were running like almost $200 a piece for the ones I was looking at. And I had like no money, which is still the case. And imagine like how heavy they are, right? So I was going to try to mount six to eight batteries underneath my Bronco. So I waited and all of a sudden Jackery sent me um, this one. They sent me this little guy here. And I did a review video for them and you guys can look, check that out if you want to. And it was wild. Like this thing was running the AC in my, in my RV, which blew my mind. So I've got my three solar panels that are on top coming down into one red and black wire that goes through the roof. And over here, I had an extra one of these. So I went ahead and hooked it up to the red and black on top. And then you just plug that right into here, into the thousand watt. And then I have a 12 volt going from the thousand watt down into my 500. And then I also, which is, it's already charged right now, but then I can trickle it over here to this one. This is like the main guy that I use. But while you're driving, what you can do is just plug this straight into your truck then. Also, you can pick up one of these if you want to. Plug this into your truck and then you've got multiple 12 volts that you can mess around with. And bam, I've got power for days. Oh, before I even had my new laptop, I only had that 500 and in the beginning of my trip, that's how I was powering my huge desktop. That huge, what just broke? This is a new addition. I know I haven't shown you guys this yet, but I made this in South Carolina. <laughs> if you're gonna mount a bunch of deep cycle batteries somewhere in your rig, then you gotta have an inverter and a controller, and then your only plugs are gonna be on the inverter. So then you got extension cords going everywhere. Not to mention the hundreds of pounds that you're adding to the vehicle weight. I might be a marketing genius. <laughs> I'm putting the white t-shirt back on because why don't I just show the power of the Jackery and how we can dry our t-shirt. This is a thousand watt. Fourteen hundred, one thousand four hundred and forty watts. And that was still running, but it finally shut off because this only goes up to a thousand watts. <laughs> Dang, these things are crazy. I almost got my shirt dry though. Hear me out here. I was kind of thinking this might be a brilliant way to heat the Bronco. Oh, it's, see, it's warm. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's less hazardous too because you're not bre breathing in that propane, right? I, I didn't buy any bread, but the toaster works. And then when you're done traveling, right, and you're back at home, if the power ever goes out, which it does all the time, over here in Ohio, the power just went out a couple weeks ago, and I said to them, hey, do you guys want me to bring up one of my power supplies? Look at that, you can help people out. So after you go out and buy yourself a bunch of these jackeries and have a setup like mine, you can feel good at the end of the day, just knowing that you have one of the best power supply setups out there. If you're looking to live this lifestyle and you're gonna get a rig and go travel, you're gonna be amazed at how much you live out of your vehicle, not in your vehicle. <laughs> and so now you can just move these around and have power. It's plugged in, let's plug it in. Let's plug it into the thousand watt. <laughs> it hurt me. I think at any given time, I'm like waiting for something to blow up. <laughs> if you don't have those solar panels, that's okay. I didn't even have these solar panels completely hooked up like this until a, a couple of months ago. If I went to like 24 hour to, sh to shower, I would just ask the people behind the desk, like, hey, do you mind if I plug this in? Which leads me to their panels, which are super nice. These are a lot more incognito. If you are living in your rig, then having solar panels on top is kind of a dead giveaway. So I like that you can just fold these up storm really easily. I keep this big one underneath my bed. 
grab one of the solar panel wires that it comes with. And then you can just have your solar panel on the tailgate or you can throw it up onto your roof. You can have multiple solar panels if you want to, to draw in more, more watts. All you have to do is connect them. Basically one of these, but for solar panels. If I'm parked somewhere in the shade or if it's just hot out and I want to be underneath the tree, then I can just take a unit, plug it straight to a panel. It comes with a USB and a C outlet. Now I've just got solar panels for days. A lot more than I need at this point. There's no way I could lift a car battery this easily. I mean, I can lift that with one hand. This is the best setup that I've ever seen. These have really just changed my life and I'm so grateful that they sent me this first one and that it's turned into this. This is my how I have power on the road. This is how I'm a YouTuber. This is how I edit my videos. This is how I curl my hair. Sit back, enjoy this nice hot lamp. Go ahead and charge my laptop. This one's so, so convenient. You could just bring this with you anywhere you go. You just hear my laptop turn on. I really honestly use these and am I being paid for this video? I'll be honest with you, yes. But it's not because they reached out to me and asked me if I would make this video. It's because I literally, I reached out to them and I said, hey, I've been using these products that you guys sent me for free for six months now. They're awesome. It is my full battery bank. I'm gonna make an epic video. Would you mind throwing me some cash as compensation? And they said, absolutely. That just kind of goes to show you what a nice company this is. So I was shocked. I was really happy that I asked because I needed to make some money right now. Like everyone, right? So I know a lot of you guys are gonna try to argue with me and say that this isn't enough power and that having a battery bank with a bunch of deep cycle batteries is better and you have more power. But I just don't know what you guys need all that power for. Okay, let's just say that you're trying to, to run a TV all day long. You're never gonna shut that TV off. Is this, is this gonna work? I don't know, I don't have a TV. Who has a TV anymore? Everybody has laptops, computers, TV's dead. Internet has taken over television, okay? But let's just say you do have a TV. You're probably gonna need, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're probably gonna need to charge these up a little bit. There you go, Jackery not only saved you money, saved you weight on your vehicle, but it just saved your life because now you have to get up and go do something else. Your brain needs to be exercised. I'm not, I'm not a doctor, but everybody knows that. Thank you, Jackery, for saving everybody's life. That's delicious. Okay, look at me, I'm gonna get my health back. My rain boots here. Gosh, my hat is so wet. My hair is so wet. Okay. Oh, the inside of this thing is so wet. <laughs> I just have to have the windows down. I don't have an AC unit yet. That's gonna be next. So stay tuned if you want to see how I end up cooling this thing down over the course of the summer. <laughs> I have no idea where to implement this into my design because I was gonna put it on the side here, but then I can't lift this up. So then I'm thinking here, but you'd be surprised how much I use this cubby. I mean, it's where my hot sauce goes. And you always need hot sauce. So I don't know, right now it's fine just on the floor. <laughs> this is classy, Morgan. This is classy. Okay, come on. I mean, if it's gonna rain, you may as well have a little bit of fun with this. It's been in Cindy's basement. I didn't even wash it. Okay, look at us. Sitting in front of the heater, <laughs> drinking a mango cocktail. Alright. Man. Look at us. We're living it up. It feels like I'm on a beach. 